What's up guys, it's me Larissa. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing how I edit my pictures for Instagram and also will be giving away a specially created preset to everyone watching this. Download your free preset from the description. Now let's get started. This is what my feed looks like on Instagram. It's all about color and fun, but at the same time, there's a certain bonding between every photo so it looks cohesive. Now for the apps that I use, I have all of these but what I use the most is Lightroom because I use my own presets or filters. So this is what the flow of the video is going to look like. The first part would be how to use Lightroom using my presets. The second one would be how to use Lightroom without my presets. The third one would be how to use Pixart and Lightroom together to create a very creative picture. The fourth one would be how to use Visco or VSCO for portraits, mixtures for grain. So I am going to first edit a picture that has almost all features that I usually use on Lightroom. So this is the picture that I took in Goa and this is what it looks like originally without any edits. This is what Lightroom looks like on the inside and uh, you can always play with the auto button because that automatically enhances your picture and edits it on its own. That's the best thing about Lightroom. But I want to add my special effect on it. So I'm going to add my preset. So you go to presets. I have two uh, preset packs on my website that you can buy this is what the fashion presets look like this is what each preset looks like on the picture so um, I think I'm going to stick with Candice uh, it looks nice and natural but also has that warmth um, but I think it's too bright so I am going to reduce the exposure and uh, yeah that's I think that looks really good but uh, I also want to change the greens I think it's too saturated so I go to color and I reduce the saturation look at that and also change the greens you can change the greens the kind of greens you have and that's also how people change the color of the sky you can change the color of blue green whatever you want and that's where I'm changing the color of the sky I like this so I'm gonna stick with a nice blue You see, that's how you can change the color to blue, purple, whatever you want. So this is the before and after. Now I want to add a little more depth to the background. So I'm using the selective tool and uh, just brushing myself a little bit more than the background. I'm going to increase the exposure and at the same time I think the sharpness as well look at that now going back to the selective tool I'm going to use a circular option uh, inverse it and then reduce the exposure again because I want the spotlight to be on me so I'm reducing the color of the background the color exposure everything of the background and uh, I think that lifts up your picture, the main object of your picture. Look at that difference, guys, it's insane. I personally love the selective tool. I'm also going to add a sun in between my hands. Uh, and that's how you do it. You just uh, make like a circular frame, um, increase the temperature and also the exposure. And that looks like there's a sun in your hand or you can just put it at any corner of your picture that's about it that's about Lightroom for this photo now next up I'm importing this picture to this app called lens distortion now this app is great to add sunlight rain snow whatever you want these are the different kinds of options you have it's great it has all kinds of lens flares and it has soft light You have clouds there's a lot of things you can do on this app it's great so i am going to stick with uh, some rain as well for this picture um that's the rain that i want to add and obviously reduce the opacity 
and you can play around with the features on this app you can increase the contrast so the raindrops look a little more sharpened than usual um, increase the opacity a little bit and that's what it looks like it looks like natural rain so you can even try different kinds of rains i guess and uh, i think i like this one more than the previous one Similarly, I edit the rest of my photos using my presets in the same way and exploring the features of Lightroom a little more. I actually have a great deal on my website right now and you can purchase all my presets for a flat $7.99 from $2,500 to $7.99 literally. So only for people who watch this video can avail this discount i will be putting my discount code right here on my screen and in the description box and you can also try out the free preset that i give you guys in the description as well now we are going to edit a picture without using any presets on lightroom for this picture i'm just going to increase the exposure like so not too much then I'm going to color and changing the color of the sky so I'm going to stick to a nicer teal blue and increase the saturation so the color is nice and bright changing the orange now going to red and changing the color of my bikini and the flower and increasing the saturation Next up, I want to um, increase the exposure a little bit more. Next up, I'm going to change the highlights and shadows of the picture. And this is exactly what changes the whole tone of the photo. So I'm keeping the highlights to somewhere near a light blue. You see how the picture changes? And then the shadows to a little bit of brownish orange. So that's near the reds and the oranges so this is what the whole feel of the picture looks like now next up we are going to change the tint of the picture so this is how the tint can change the whole vibe of the picture i usually keep it to the greens and now i'm adding a curve to add a little faded effect to the whole photo so when you lift the bottom of the curve like this, this is what the picture changes to and your shadows become faded. You can always keep playing with the curve to try out new things for yourself. Now next up, I'm going to the selective tool and um, adding a gradation to the sky, going to effects and increasing and decreasing the haze. This actually makes your any part actually of your photo um, more intense or less intense. So this is what your photo looks like. Isn't it crazy? Even without a preset, you can actually do a lot to your picture on Lightroom. I know that the selective tool is only available for uh, purchased users, but uh, you could try similar things on Snapseed and that app is absolutely free. So try that out as well. So the next one is Pixart plus Lightroom. So I'm going to create a very creative picture using Pixart and the stickers on Pixart. Now there are so many you can choose from and download and this app is really the king of creativity I feel. 
I am going to use some sunflowers and put it right at the bottom of my mirror because I think this picture just looks very blah without I mean it's just a mirror picture but I want to make it creative using some flowers maybe because that's my vibe flowers leaves anything tropical and I'm just going to adjust it I mean it looks like it's not uh, real but then uh, I mean you can still just add it on your pictures it just adds like a cool graphic you can reduce uh, and increase the shadows behind it to make it look a little realistic but it comes across as fake but that's all right it's just a nice thing to look at the picture the vibe of your photo just gets so much better instantly you can flip the images you can do you can rotate it you can do whatever you want you can change the modes of your uh, clip art and uh, i think it's a perfect app especially for creativity and if you don't want to use photoshop if you don't have photoshop what i really love doing on this app is adding a blur background so you just go to your um, effects and tools and then go to lens blur and blur the rest of the image i mean you can focus on the object of the photo the main object that's me in this picture and i'm going to erase off uh, the blur effect on me and keep the rest of it so that way you don't have to worry if uh, your picture is not taken with a dslr and your background is not um, blur enough and it's not giving you the depth this totally works and although you have to uh, be really precise but you can always adjust the blurness with the radius option here and i think that's the best part i mean even if you're taking a picture with your phone it's still all right and it looks perfect Now just importing it on Lightroom and adding my wipe to it and uh, that's my preset. And that's it. This is the final picture. It's I think I love it and uh, you can always look for good references on Pixart itself. It's a great app. Next I'm going to use VSCO or Visco to edit my portraits. I usually do that whenever it's my portraits or any makeup related pictures it keeps your photo intact but still adds a great um, style or vibe to it so as you can see there are so many presets on vsco it gives you a great vintage effect or whatever you want i personally love the l5 effect for my portraits it adds a warmth especially great for indian skin tones and uh, that's pretty much it i just adjust the temperature a little bit and I'm done. It's a great app if uh, you're looking for something quick and you can also uh, edit a lot of pictures together. I am going to be importing this picture to the app called Mextures and adding um, a layer of grain to it. Now this app adds um, textures, grains, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in different ways it has a lot of options you can play with but i am going to be showing you how to add a little bit of grain onto my portrait the same picture we just edited and um, as you can see you can add light leaks or whatever you want i'm just going to add um, a little grain onto this and reduce the opacity a little bit i'm using slideshow I think slideshow goes perfectly well. Yeah, that's that's it. So that's about it. I hope you found this video super helpful and for any questions related to presets, please read the FAQ section on my website and that will answer literally all your questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.